This video is the concept that I originally presented to my professor. The premise of the video was to shoot a 180 degree video, insert a graphic in the window, and in the sky, then motion track both effects. Motion tracking markers are used to lock down the animation to the live action video. That means when the live action video moves, the animation overlay moves also. The user selects points or landmarks in the live video for the program to track. It could be corner of buildings, light poles, or even red crosses. These URLs are the YouTube videos that successfully achieve motion tracking. Blender is a free 3D program. It enables zero budget filmmakers to create mid-size or even big budget effects in their home video projects. It also has the ability to composite 3D objects onto live action video. The problem with Blender is its complexity to learn. This was my first draft video. The task was to put a 3D cube in the video using Blender as a compositor. This is the node screen. It is used to create a composite using a 3D object in a live video. After 60 plus hours, I finally got a composite of the cube in a video from Blender. As you can see, the cube is not locked to the video. This is the sample ship I wanted to insert into my video. When I rendered, I mistakenly rendered it as pictures and not video. That gave me 270 frames of pictures. The picture of the ship is dark because I did not understand how to light the scene in Blender. This is After Effects CS5. To this point I never used After Effects in any version, but the software would not let me export it. The gray circles on the timeline is the motion tracking data. Because time was running out, I needed to build a demo video of what I wanted to present. I returned back to Final Cut to build this demo video. Look in your window. This is the end of this YouTube video, but I'm not done with this process yet.